are their first years. I hope you're ready to learn something brand new. Last week you learned how to play in 3-4 time and this week we're going to show you another brand new technique. Um, and this is going to be really important for cellos to play because one day you're probably going to want to play this solo. <laughs> So that was the Bach uh, prelude in G major. Um, and you've probably heard other cellos play that before. You've heard it on the radio or on TV. Um, and for this song, we actually used, uh, there's a bunch of different things that cellos need to know. And you already know it, a lot of them. First of all, I said that it was a prelude in G major. And we've been learning how to read in G major and play the G major scale. So you need to keep practicing G major scale if you want to play that song eventually. Um, and. Uh, we also, for that one, I had to use tunnel fingers. Look, I don't move my hand at all, but I played three different notes. And again. So I used tunnel fingers to play those, and you already know how to play with tunnel fingers. Um, and so there's a couple more things that you need to learn before you can play this, but you guys are really close. Um, and the first, the next step, we're going to learn in just a second, and then the last step will be shifting, which means that you're going to just play the notes, but your hand's going to be in a different spot so that your fingers will play different notes. We'll get to that later. You'll get to that whenever you are uh, a third year player, uh, which is going to be sooner than you think. Um, so the last thing that we, uh, you need to know to play that is slurs. So let me tell you about slurs. Um, I'm going to explain them, and then we're going to play them together. So slurs. Mm -hmm. Um, you can see them on number 109, Stop and Go, uh, look in your book. There's going to be a curved line above those first two notes, so make sure you can find that in your book, number 109. Um, so that curved line is going to be either above some notes or below some notes, depending on where the notes are on the music staff, but it means the same thing. Um, and it just means that you're going to use, instead of playing two bows to play two different notes, you're going to use one bow to play those different notes. So let me show you what I mean. I can play the notes D and E um, by playing two different bows, which is what we're used to. It would look like this. Watch my bow. But I can also um, put my finger down halfway through my bow movement, so I only have to move my bow once. Watch my bow again. So I didn't stop my bow, but I played two different notes, and that's called slurring. You can slur more than two notes. But for now, we're just going to start with slurring two notes. So what I did is I just halfway through my through my bow, I put down a finger, but I kept moving this. So what I want you to do is I want you to copy me. So make sure that you're uh, holding your cello in good uh, playing position and you've got your bow ready. I'm going to play D and E, and I'm going to move my bow just out towards the tip. I'm not going to go back. So watch me first, and then it's going to be your turn. My turn. Ready, go. Your turn. Ready, go. So make sure that whenever you play this, your bow's got to keep moving in one direction. One more time, watch my bow, and then it's your turn. My turn. Ready, go. And your turn. Ready, go. All right, we're going to do the same thing, but I'm going to start with the note E, and then I'm going to play open D. So your first finger ready. Watch my bow first, and then it will be your turn. My turn. Ready, go. Your turn, and ready, go. So we can um, play different notes uh, with our fingers while only moving our bow once. If you want to pause the video and kind of experiment on your own with some slurs, you can do that. Um, but once you're ready, uh, let's go ahead and place number 109, stop and go together. So remember that that little line in the first measure, and actually in the first four measures, 
Um, that little line that you see is actually worth two rests. So we're gonna play D, E, rest, rest, and then we're gonna play E, D, rest, rest. It's really important that you play the rest for the right amount of time. So what I want you to do is I want you to grab your bow, but I don't want you to play. I want you to read uh, 109 stop and go, and I want you to move your bow down, rest, rest, up, rest, rest, just like I did in the air while you watch your music. Um, so during the rest, freeze your bow, and then you can play on, you're gonna move your bow whenever I'm playing the notes and you're listening, you're gonna move it back. But for the rest, I want your hand and your bow to be exactly still. So you're gonna copy my bow, but you're gonna play it in the ear. Listen first, move your bow with me. 109, one and two, and ready, bow. Rest, rest. Rest, rest. Rest, rest. Rest, rest. a little bit if you want to watch just my bow but I wanted you to move your bow so you can kind of feel how it's going to feel before we play now I want you to actually play the notes with me so let's uh, get ready to play 109 together get set up make sure that your first finger is hovering above your first finger tape so that way whenever you put it down it's gonna be right above the tape so just make sure it's hovering right above the tape but we're gonna start with open D now look at number 109 and let's play together one and two and ready play rest 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 thing about that exercise is the bowing. Um, actually, the bowing is more important than playing the right notes. So whenever you play 109 this week, I want you to think about moving your bow and slurring the notes and then stopping it and thinking in your head, rest, rest. So that way you don't rush through the rest. So the rest are notes too, so make sure you play them for the right amount of time. And use a lot of bow on these slurs. That's going to help you play. I don't want you to hear this. <laughs> I want you to use a lot of bow so I can hear this. Rest, rest. I can use most of my bow for those. So whenever you practice that, I want you to use a lot of bow, make a, n a nice, smooth, connected sound. Slurs are really fun to play, so that I, uh, I hope that you um, play with them a lot this week. Um, get used to them and just feel how fun it can be to slur a bunch of notes uh, together. So again, that was uh, the slur. That was a brand new word that we learned today. Um, we're going to practice on uh, the next video playing number 112 D major slurs. So we're going to add even more uh, notes for slurs. So I want you right now to make sure that you can play 109 on your own correctly. And then after that, look at the next video so we can play 112 D major slurs together.